Apple has one of the best production teams I have ever seen when it comes to product releases. The way they be churning out those Apple release videos. Yes. From the sky to those cranes those that they be using. Yes. The transitions. The, the, I mean, it's... Let me throw it to Jim. Yeah. Dude. It, it's insane. And, what, what and I, they're shooting it on the iPhone, bro. Well, so, well, <laughs> I gotta... There's a billion dollars worth of grip. But, but the sensor is technically the iPhone. But in that, like, if you said they spared no expense, and technically they didn't. <laughs> they, they didn't spare any expense. But they could be using any camera yeah. in the world. Yeah. They could be using any grip in the world. And the fact that they're using the iPhone, my iPhone footage ain't ever looked like that. <laughs> well, because you just spent a million dollars in grip. No, real talk, it, it is pretty incredible. This week was actually different, though. Instead of doing one big like announcement, they decided to drop three videos. Was it three? Three videos? Yeah, yeah, I think Tuesday, so. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Uh, and I was just like, yo, this is, this is it. But they knew exactly what they were doing because the... So for y'all who were not aware, on Tuesday, we got new iMacs, yep. which I didn't care about at all. They look beautiful, though. Do you think so? Oh, my gosh. They look childish to me. They look beautiful. Well, you know what it takes me back to? What? It takes me back to elementary school. Did That's you have just, those? Yes. Did you have the those? The bulbous ones? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at your school. I'm not saying they look like like whatever, but like the, I think it takes me back there. I will never buy an iMac. Because and in their current design, you would just, never buy it for like your family. No, mm. no, it looks like it's just it's too loud, and all the colors are loud. But you're gonna have it in a corner, Brandon. It's not like you're gonna have it like in the middle of the. You ain't never gonna see the colors. You, but the problem is, I have to pick one. You know what I mean? Like when it comes time to buy, pick the gray one. Is there is there just like a gray I one? I, I I thought they all were colored this time. It probably is. Uh maybe there's like a like a silver one. But yeah, so I so we got IMAX on Tuesday, and then we yeah, got, got Mac Mini on Wednesday, and it almost got me, bro. The Mac Mini almost got me. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the price point, the power with the new M4 chip, and the fact there's an M4 Pro. You know where they lost me though on the Mac Mini? What's that? When they made it smaller. You don't like the smaller? Who's asking for smaller? I'm not asking for small because the Mac Mini is already the small outside of a Raspberry Pi, but like it's already the smallest computer. Yeah, I just want power. Now I don't want you. I don't want a a cheese grater. Yes, necessarily. Yeah, I see what you're but saying. But like if they if the Mac Mini was this size to this size, I'd be fine. Yeah, I'd be fine. I I I think I agree with you because like for me, I'm like. Why, like, you're right. Who's asking for smaller? The old Mac Mini was small enough. Mm -hmm. So if you could keep it that size, mm -hmm. but cram more into it. Absolutely. Let's do that. More ports. Give me more twice power, as many ports. Better airflow. Yes. Like, yes. just, you don't have to make it small. We don't, Apple, I know you watch this podcast because this is the best podcast <laughs> on the internet. Um, I'm telling you, you, we don't want smaller anymore. Everything is the right size. It's fine. Just now make the components inside of what is already there make that smaller so you yeah. can make 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 it better because you obviously know how to make the components smaller that's why we keep getting smaller mac minis yeah. and smaller phones and smaller ipads it's getting ridiculous yeah but it's like yo like they made it so small that they had to put the power button underneath it yeah they were like oh wait we forgot to leave space for a power <laughs> button Ooh. this Just is cram the, it underneath the bottom this is the wild thing about the computer it's a desktop I get why you're making these smaller. I don't want it to be smaller, but I get it yes. because you're going to carry it around. Yes. Even with the Mac Mini, Apple, no one's going to be carrying around their Mac Mini. Absolutely. Now, I got to address this because Logan, he says, you both are describing the studio. Logan, that's not, I'm not making, that's not a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Apple made a mistake. Yeah. They gave us a Mac Mini when what I really wanted yes. <laughs> was the studio. The studio, as far as I'm concerned, is the best computer that Apple has released mm -hmm. as far as, like, for professionals. Yeah. The problem is they did the M2, and then they haven't touched it since. Mm -hmm. And, like, I just can't bring myself, like, when the M3 came out, 
I heard through rumors and breakdowns that we were not going to get a M3 studio. Yeah. And now we've got the M4 and we've got an M4 Pro mm -hmm. uh, MacBook Pro, which they announced on Thursday, mm -hmm. but we still haven't got a studio. And like, that's what I'm really saving my money for right now is yeah. a studio. But I'm starting to get those feelings. Like, you remember when Apple came out with the trash can Mac Pro, mm -hmm. where it was like black, it was like a cylinder or whatever? Six to 8,000. Yeah. Yes. And then they didn't touch it for like a decade. Yeah. That's what the Mac Studio right now is feeling like to me. And mm -hmm. that hurts me. Because yeah. I'm like, that. I want the M4 Studio with the Ultra chip in it. What do you think they're going to come out with n next? A Mac Pro. Cheese grater upgraded to M's. Yeah. Or a Mac Studio. I think they both get announced at the same time. Because hmm. that's what they did with the last one when they released the, the cheese grater MacBook Pro yeah. or the Mac Pro now. Yeah. They released the studio at the same time. Yeah. And I'm fine with that because I'm not buying a Mac Pro. I just, that's, just, I'm, that's too much for the me. The way that they be upgrading those things. Yeah. Like not upgrading their chips. Yeah. Bro, on a yearly never, basis. Never, yeah. Never. Never. Yeah, it's just like it's gonna be outdated never. in a year. No thanks. <laughs> Hard pass. Because if you spent twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars on one of those things, and then all of a sudden they're like, "We came out with the M5 and it's two times faster," <laughs> bro, bro, I'm be pissed. I'm pissed. This better be the pinnacle. Yeah. For five to seven years. Yes. <laughs> and that's not realistic, but it better be, or it better literally be like a PC. Allow me to swap out that M4, put it in M5, and keep rolling. But the the way that they be updating and making things better, I better sit at the top of the mountain forever. And if I can't, I'm just gonna buy the. I'm just gonna update every other other year. Yeah, I feel like with the Mac Studio, I was really pumped about like that computer for the option of having power. Yeah. But I feel like the Mac Pro promised a lot of like upgrade possibilities mm -hmm. and I haven't seen it. So there's just no way. I just yeah. don't trust that Apple's ever going to give us a computer that you can actually upgrade yourself, like add more mm -hmm. Thunderbolt ports. Cause like, I mean, running this live stream, I mean, I've got four stream decks going into the computer. Yeah. I've got multiple cameras going into the, like I need ports. I mean, for the first time ever, I actually considered maybe I need to get a PC just so I can actually customize what I want. So yeah. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand, like, and obviously, like, this, this is us. Like, mm -hmm. this is our, these are our use cases. But I will say, the new MacBook Pros, mm -hmm. those look good. They look good. They look really good. They look good. I'm on an M1, and I was like, yeah, it's maybe time. Mm, I'm not tempted. Well, you have an M2? I have an M2. Yeah. M2 Pro, M2 Pro, I think, M2 Pro. Yes, yeah, so you have an yeah, M2. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not... <sighs> I'm not a. I'm not tempted. I'm gonna. I have a feeling. Yeah. That even though they say two times, ten times, eleven times faster, especially than the Intel Max. But I have a feeling that that speed boost isn't applied. Even over. Yeah, evenly. Yes. Like, sure. If I'm animating 3D graphics, it's eleven times faster, but. Is it real? And maybe even Final Cut, which you're specifically optimizing for. But bro, Premiere didn't get ten times faster. Yeah, and that's what I use the most: Premiere, Photoshop, all sorts of things. So like, I'm just like the M2 Pro is still be hot fire. So if you don't have like, if you're in Brandon's spot, we have the M1. Uh, we have the M1. M1 Max. M1 Max. You have the M2 Pro. Like, bro. Like, yeah, I, don't know. I feel like I'm I'm on the edge. Yeah, I'm probably there. I'm yeah. probably at the point where I'm like, okay, it might be time to upgrade the MacBook Pro. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep holding out for a little bit. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I think I'm just talking right now. Hoping hoping that studio comes out. Yeah, we're, we're, I think I'm just talking right now. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this clip. But you know what's better than watching these clips? Enjoying the show live, which we do every single Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. The best part is if you disagree with what we have to say, you can tell us that live in the chat. So we'd love to see you there this Friday.